So under my last video, someone asked me to make an FL Studio version of the virtual ride ring mod sidechain. So wouldn't it be cool if you could sort of remove the waveform of the snare and the kick from the waveform of everything else? And sure, here it is. That's it. I never really tried this before, but it actually sounds really, really good. I mean, check this out. With it disabled, you can hear the limiter having to work. You can hear the volume changing and stuff. But if it's on, that's flat right there. That's actually insane. And it still sounds very much separated and very, very clean. There is some distortion on the snare I can hear, and he talked about this as well. But depending on the genre you're going for, this can actually sound really good. So I will be using my standard template for this. In here, we have a kick and snare and a bass. The bass track simply gets added to the bass bus and then to the sidechain, and the kick and snare go to the drum bus, which goes to the master directly. In my template, I already have a channel with just the kick and snare for sidechaining. So we're gonna sidechain this to the sidechain track. Wow. And on here, we now load patcher. So we're gonna need the kick and snare signal in here. That's the compressor thing, but you write it, but we can simply right click here and select it as an output. Now we have it right here. Now that we have the signal, we're gonna rectify it using a wave shaper. The fruity wave shapers rectify preset doesn't give quite the result we want. So we're gonna have to use the free Mela Productions wave shaper that he also uses. Link is in the description if you don't have that. So we're gonna have to make sure we brought the right signal to it. And snare signal. I'm gonna set this to square asymmetric and set the dry weight to 100%. We're gonna make a triangle shape. So we bring this down, double click in the middle, and then press Alt to snap it to 50 50. Next, we're gonna load the M ring modulator right here. I'm gonna press right click inputs, audio, and add an input. And we're gonna route the wave shape signal into here. Let's open this up. Let's set phase to zero and enable side chaining. Now let's go into the plugin settings, processing and select input one, the one we just added as the sidechain signal. And this sounds like a strange gate. And now all we have to do is route the main signal directly to the output. There we have it. That's it. I'd recommend setting this up once, saving as a template, and then using this as your starting point for every track if you want to use it in every track. I can't exactly give this as a preset because all the routing stuff doesn't get translated. So you're gonna have to set this up yourself in your own environment. But if you want my template that I'm using right now, you can go grab that on my Patreon. Gotta love the shameless plug right here. Yeah, I hope this helps you.